Let's just focus and talk about dollar industries. Mr. Vinod Kumar Gupta, the MD, is joining us on the show. Mr. Gupta, hi. The stock is taking a bit of a tumble despite the very strong show that they've reported in your earnings. Talk to me about the way forward. Is this kind of growth momentum and profitability sustainable, you believe? Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, this is, uh, in, uh, uh, we, are, we have, of course, ended up uh, this 23-24, the last fiscal uh, with uh, good numbers, and hope to have a... Uh, a CHR uh, growth of not less than 10% in the years to come every year and with an EBITDA margin of 11 to 12% every year. Okay, so you're focusing on an EBITDA margin of 10 to 11 percent every year. Also, in terms of you know a bit of an indication that you could give us in terms of demands as well as volumes. This time also, you managed to see a decent volume growth. Is that also something in terms of a volume that would continue? Yeah, yeah. The, the uh, whatever whatever we are planning for the years to come, a minimum of volume growth of 10 to 12 percent we are foreseeing. And right now, the textile market is also doing uh, very good. Even the auxiliary sector out of the textile market is really been uh, robust in the uh, current time. The whatever bad time we had uh, sometimes in 20 to 23 and some sluggish demand uh, thereafter that uh, have already been uh, done with. Now uh, the, we understand that the uh, future of the hosiery market will be a robust one and we hope to uh, clock a uh, uh, volume growth of 10 to 12 percent uh, in the current financial year and the year to come. Okay, 10 to 12 percent volume growth also is what you are anticipating. Aren't you being a bit conservative because this time you managed to see 18 percent growth in terms of volumes. Correct. So Correct. should we not uh, expect, uh, you know, on the higher side of the teens then? No, no, we are, uh, of course, we have done very much, uh, very good in 23, 24, uh, with an 18% of volume growth, of course, that is there. But then uh, we are targeting 10 to 12%, and then uh, we try to do much better than what we are targeting. Okay, point taken. But has been the raw material movement for you, and hence, what kind of margin expectations should we pencil in? Because, of course, uh, the prices of yarn sector have been very, very volatile. Could you talk to us about, in terms of your raw material, has been the movement and the way forward for margins? Yeah, the prices of uh, raw materials is right now is within the limits. So there is not uh, much uh, volatility in the uh, prices of raw material. Of course, there was uh, upstick of uh, in the yarn prices in two months back. But then uh, that 5 to 10 percent, 7 percent fluctuation is always there that we have to uh, take into our account. But then that, that is not going to uh, uh, deter our uh, uh, projection of 11 to 12 percent uh, beta level every year. Right. Uh, you know, Mr. Gupta, also, I just want to understand in terms of the mix, right? Obviously, right now, uh, the men's uh, segment is doing around 80 percent of the total, 80, 81 percent of the contribution. Uh, women's is around 15 percent and kids is around the rest, 4 percent. Uh, what is it that you have in terms of an outlook and change of mix? How do you see that changing? Could we expect a significant change here? Yeah, the company is uh, throwing its uh, weight behind uh, the sale of... Uh, 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 women's uh, product uh, in a much better way. And even the uh, thalys are also, we are targeting a uh, good growth in the uh, times to come. And for women's range, we have already launched now women's thalys are also. So we understand that uh, uh, um, our focus on uh, uh, Missy brand, which is there for the female section of the society, that is going to uh, do uh, better in the times to come. Sure, right. You know, you have launched brands also. Athleisure is also what you entered into in the uh, women's segment. Uh, but what about exports? Uh, what is the outlook there? And uh, what is the strategy that you have for exports, the expansion plans? How many more countries do you envisage increasing your growth to in the next couple of years? Yeah, for the export market now, the uh, whatever pain we had in 22, 23 and the later on, we have already done away with it. Now the export demand is also uh, very good. We are very much strong in Middle East, but now we are uh, trying and entering the African market. We have already done our uh, dealers, uh, dealership network in uh, Nigeria, in Tanzania, in Ghana. And now we are also flourishing our steps in uh, Myanmar, that is uh, Yangon, and uh, uh, in Saudi Arabia. And uh, We hope to have a good demand out of our products uh, uh, in the Middle East and the African countries. Okay, sir, on that note, we let you go. Thanks so much for making time and speaking with us. If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to ET Now.